All right, guys, so we are on the Anioki Pro Max A8. And to turn the bike on, I mentioned this in my review video, if you didn't see that, you need the key. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to have this big old mess in my pocket while I'm at work the whole time. And yeah, I could have separated it, so I just had one and one and just left these at the house. But since I sell these bikes super quick, I don't wanna lose the set. You know, I just wanna keep them all together. So anyways, to turn the bike on, you hit, what is this right here? There you go. So you just hit the power button twice and then your thing comes on. I know it's a little hard because I got my phone right here because I wanna be able to see our mile per hour. And since this is such a huge battery, we should be able to hold like 30 something miles per hour the whole time. And I have not charged this bike at all. So just keep in mind when I do this whole trip going back and forth to work, I didn't charge it from my video review. So now that you guys know that, we're just gonna be putting miles on this. So we found out in the video review that our speedo on here, on the actual bike itself, it could probably be adjusted if you go into the settings, but I like to review these bikes exactly how they come in for 99% of people that aren't going to mess with any of the settings. Uh, it is off three miles per hour. So you see we're doing 33 on here or 32. Now we're doing 29 on here. When we're doing 33, we're doing 30 on here. So something to keep in mind, it is off from factory, but still 30 miles an hour is perfect for this bike, especially for the big battery that we have. We're gonna get so much range. And in this video, I'm not gonna be pedaling. I'm just gonna be using the throttle only at all times. So I'm not gonna get the best range possible. This is probably gonna be the worst case scenario that you're gonna get, unless uh, you're heavier than me, which I'm 165, 170 pounds. I always like to say that in like all my videos. If you're turning, then go. If you're not turning, okay. Can't tell. Their car has like an auto turn on feature, all auto turn off, and it's not starting. <laughs> I heard it turn on twice. That car is broken. <laughs> well, those people had their turn signal on for like the longest time. They weren't even turning, man. You don't know what's going on out here. You gotta be careful. Their turn signal's still on. Turn that shit off. <laughs> That's one thing to mention on this bike is that it does not come with any turn signals. I'm not mad about it. It's just something that I wanted to mention and point out. Uh, turn signals are something that's cool on bikes. I really prefer them on bikes that go about 40 plus miles an hour, maybe let's say 35 plus miles an hour. But when you're doing just class three speeds in the bike lane, you're pretty legal. You don't really need turn signals. You're not really gonna be in the road because not any road around here anyways. Maybe if you live somewhere that's 20 or 25 miles an hour, then it might benefit you a little bit. But around here, I'm not gonna be in the street with this bike. And then we have our dedicated headlight button right here. We got a walking mode, which we found out walking mode is like four miles per hour, which is super cool. And we do have a slight delay on the throttle as well as you probably just saw right there after uh, stopping and starting again. Thanks, lady. She didn't even bother to look this way. You notice that? She just looked at that truck and she's like, all right, I'm going. It's like, at least look, man. I mean, I would have slowed down regardless. Like, I mean, someone's walking. I'm going to mow them down. I'm going to hurt them more than they're going to hurt me. But it's like, hey, just pay attention. You know what I mean? Give some respect to people that are on the road. I know I do. All right, so here comes some sketchy parts of riding, but I will say that we do have the red light, so we can kind of uh, sit right here between the lanes. I don't want to stay in this lane. I don't want to be in the bike lane because the bike lane is stupid over here and you have to go way over in the bike lane and then it takes you to the sidewalk and the sidewalk is only for the overpass and then the sidewalk disappears. It just goes into a bush. So you'd have to jump off of the sidewalk. <laughs> we'll go around. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Is he getting on the freeway? Come on, man. A little sketchy. Don't do what I do, but hey, I'm trying to get over because I gotta get over on this little section, right? And of course, I did not beat the traffic, so that's great. Damn you, truck. Do you hate when trucks do that? Or do you think it's reasonable because they're always stuck behind a lot of people or can't go as fast? I've noticed they do that a lot in this area. Like if there's a light and they know they're gonna run it or whatever, they just go through it, they're like, screw it. 
and then they hold up all the rest of the traffic because they never really get the opportunity to get out there because they're such a big vehicle. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about that. But they do that so much around here. I'm like, man, you should have waited your turn since it was red when he uh, was making that turn. Dang, if I had a slightly faster bike, I could have made that turn in between all this traffic right now, but no. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Hey, I saw that Tesla the other day too. Hey. <laughs> Can I go, Trek? Can I go? Thanks. All that because of that one big rig truck, man. That sucked. Hey, now we're hitting 31 miles per hour. There we go. Dang, and so far we have 12 miles on this bike. That's what the odometer says, but we know in our, my video review that it was off as well. All right, so we're going with the wind right now. And we're still hitting 30 miles an hour. That's one thing that's super impressive on this bike is the fact that you have such a big battery that even though all bikes, anything electric is gonna have voltage sag. But since this battery is so big, you shouldn't lose your mile per hour for a very long time. What is this guy doing? What are you doing, buddy? Why is he just on the other side of the road? <laughs> and then why was he looking at me like I'm the problem? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Fresno, man, damn. Oh, he's gone now, where the hell? <laughs> he disappeared. Oh yeah. This baby turns very well. Uh, I mentioned in my video review that you want to lean back a little bit when you turn this uh, bike because the handlebars are so high that when you turn them with your weight up front, it feels a little awkward. It feels like you don't have that much control of the bike. But if you really lean back, it feels a lot better and more stable. So there's something to keep in mind. And now real quick, we're coming uphill while people are staring at us <laughs> in their car. Everyone's like, what the hell? Uh, it's not as fast as the Idea. Yeah, it is not getting up the hill as fast. We were doing 27 miles an hour in the Idea Trooper 01. This one's only doing 22, so that gives you an idea of how fast this bike is coming uphill. It doesn't have that much torque, but it's definitely a heavy bike. It's, I think, 101 pounds, and the battery is like 33 pounds by itself. But you're really not buying this bike for the power. You're really buying this bike for the range, and that's literally what this bike will give you. And real quick, coming downhill, 33 miles per hour, and on the display it says 35. So we're almost at 30. Oh, okay, there we go. There we are. That's what I figured. The biggest thing I would be worried about this bike though, the fact that it does 100 miles on throttle only or 200 miles if you put in like eco mode and pedal is I would probably throw some motorcycle tires on here because if you can go that far on this bike, do you really want to flat when you're like 50 to 100 miles away from your house? I don't think so. So I would highly recommend putting motorcycle tires on here but the thing is, it is going to take a little bit of range away, but who cares about that? You're getting so much range anyway, but the biggest thing it's gonna take away is a torque. You're gonna lose some torque on this bike. So just keep that in mind if you do put motorcycle tires on, but then you won't have to worry about getting a flat. A lot of you guys told me to do a range test on this bike, and as much as I would love to, that's the reason why I haven't charged it since my video review. When I first got this bike, I have not charged it since the first mile I put on here. So we're gonna go off this display even though it's slightly inaccurate. Uh, but what I'm saying is I don't wanna do 100 miles away from the house or riding around and get a flat and I have no one to pick me up. That worries me a lot. So uh, I'm not gonna do that big of a range test. I'm even worried when I would take my Onyx RCR that had the most range with the 55 amp hour battery in there of uh, going places and getting a flat. It always scared me. Super 73, not too much. We got motorcycle tires. You're really not gonna get a flat on that. It's gonna be very rare. But man, one little thorn could pop these tires. They are thicker than the average one, but still you can get a little tiny thing in there and man, it's gonna ruin your whole entire day. I might need like Uber XL and be like, hey, I got a bike. Can we put the bike in your vehicle? Because <laughs> I don't have any friends that are free that have trucks. I just don't want to set myself up for failure. So I don't think I'm going to be doing that. But I do think another video should be in the works on this thing while I ride around after going back and forth to work. 
and just continue to put miles on it and see what our battery indication looks like. Where there's no voltage reading. I'm actually kind of mad there's no voltage reading, but we do have a battery bar system. It doesn't work as good, but no under voltage sag and everything like that, it's still at five. It's never dropped one, so that's crazy. I would like to at least see it go down like two battery bars, so we're down the three left. Maybe on our third video, if we do it, uh, maybe we'll get there, but I'm not charging this bike. There's no point. This is one of those bikes that you can kind of ride all week long and not have to charge it. What happened to that Model Y? It's just sitting there. You know Model Ys tell you when the light screen, right? It has a little chime, it's all ding. He wasn't paying attention. <laughs> now coming up this overpass, we're doing a little bit better than the previous one. We're doing 24 miles per hour. Oh, now 25, but we are coming up to the top, so that kind of makes sense. So 22 and then 24 on this one, but still not as good as the idea. That's crazy. Coming down this overpass, 33 miles per hour. 34? Oh, just for a brief second. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna get to work at exactly the same we did the other time on the idea, and that's 5.9 miles roughly when I get to the front door. All right, we made it here in one piece. Now you guys just have to give me nine hours until I get off and then we'll do the night riding footage. We'll see how these lights look, the brake light, all that kind of stuff. I'm really interested to see that because we already know the range is good. So there's really no point. I mean, we're going to check that out too at the end when I get home, but I really want to see how these lights perform. And I can't turn the bike off with using this button. I forgot you got to pull out the keys, which I feel the keys in my pocket because I got so much stuff in my pocket. So I have to pull these out and hit the unlock button. I don't understand that. Makes no sense to me. What's up? It's bulky. Yeah, it has a, remember your battery and yours? It was a 20 amp hour battery. This is 60. Holy it's three times bigger than the battery that was on yours. You're yeah, a hundred miles of range with the throttle only. What? Yeah, exactly. it doesn't have as much power as the Rev1. So yeah, you get about a hundred miles of range, just throttle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go put this up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> My helmet's hot. All right, time to lock up the bike and I'll see you guys in a bit. I know I just said that, but uh, yeah, just gonna have to deal with it. Saying stuff twice today. PJ, service to the front door, PJ. Hella time has passed and I am trying to get out of here. Everyone left me already other than the janitor. I was scheduled to get off at 12 o'clock. It is 12.15 roughly. I just had to count some stuff, the change, the tills. I mean, I had to do a bunch of stuff before leaving and now I really want to leave and I don't know where the janitor's at. I have no idea like where he went. Oh, there you are. What's up, bud? I was calling you. I'm, I'm, I live in Kiao, but I go get my, let me take a picture of this. How oh. much is this one? Uh, this one's I think 1900 bucks. Oh shit. It has a big ass battery. This is all the battery right here. Look at how big this thing is. You see the battery. Oh. Yeah, well, pick, pick it up. <laughs> oh, shit. It's 33 pounds of a battery. Wow. It's crazy, man. Yeah. All right, now I gotta turn it on before I leave. All right, man. All right, man. I'm gonna get out of here. Have a good night. Careful. Yeah, you too. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. <laughs> All right, I'll All see, right, you. see you. All right, so hitting the headlight button once on this right-hand side turns this on. Definitely needs to go down. Oh, I can tell it's crooked. Oh, man. Oh, uh-oh. Uh I really didn't tighten that down. All right, so let's just hope that doesn't move too much. All right, let's put it in mode number five, and let's get out of here. And then when I get onto the trail, I'll show you guys. But, oh, man, I can already tell we did not. Well, actually, we, I meant... I did not tighten this headlight good enough. Holy moly. It looks like I'm flashing everybody. It looks like a strobe effect. I was noticing that when I was coming to work. Obviously, I didn't have the light on, but I noticed that it was uh, bouncing all over the place, and that's exactly what it is. It's not the light coming on and off. It's just shaking so bad. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's something we're going to have to deal with. Um, I need to start bringing a light with me for trips. I normally fill up my backpack. Like right now, I probably have an extra 10 pounds in my backpack because I got some drinks. We got like free items sometimes at the store on Fridays and whatnot. So I got a lot of uh, stuff in the back. Anyways, I'm gonna start bringing a light with me so then I can put one on here. So 
Electric XP, they have a nice, it's called like a beacon headlight. They sent it to me for free. We're gonna be reviewing that when I do the XP Expedition, which is like a cargo bike. And I'm, I think I'm gonna start bringing that one with me in my backpack. It's nice and small and it should look very good on uh, rides like this where we can strap it onto any of the bikes and just kind of get a, uh, a good light output just to go home. But we, you know, we still get an idea of how these lights look. But wait until I get on the trail real quick. I'll pull over, we'll show you the brake light as well. So one second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Hey, I can pull up over here because the street post light is out. It's supposed to be lit up, if you guys can even see that anyway. Okay, so make sure uh, no one's sleeping over here because sometimes people sleep on this trail. And then sometimes I've actually been caught up with people walking on this trail as well. But uh, let me get this light a little straight. Oh my God, that's so finicky right there. So, oh, all right, I bent it down a decent amount. That looks pretty damn fantastic. Let me show you with the headlight off. You don't have, oh, do you, okay, you don't have to hold the button, but there is a delay when you turn the headlight on. So check that out. So I'm gonna turn the headlight off. One, two, three, my hand. Boom, it turns off. So one, two, three. There it goes. So it's like a second delay for the headlight to turn on and off when you're uh, trying to get it on. So just something to keep in mind if you're like, oh my God, I need the headlight, I can't see. It's like last second, it might take one second for it to turn on. So anyways, brake light, honestly, pretty good. Not too bad, it's not the, not the worst, but not the best, but definitely better than most of the e-bikes that we have been reviewing, especially when you get down like this. And let's see how it works with the brake lever and see how bright it is. So here it is without, yeah, I can definitely see the reflection on the ground. That actually looks pretty good. And when you hit the brakes, oh, that's fantastic. That's not a bad light. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm glad they put a decent brake light on here because I think that's the main safety thing. Like, yeah, you want a nice headlight, but you also want to be able to let people that are driving a car or somewhere behind you know that you're on the side of the road because sometimes people might be drifting off, not paying attention. They don't even see you at all. And, you know, that could be your last ride. I mean, having a nice headlight is also good for your safety so you can definitely tell where you're at and what you're about to run over because that's obviously a safety thing. But I would definitely always like to have a high-end uh, brake light. And you can always get a cheap light for the handlebars if you want. So my brake light is the main thing I'm always worried about because uh, putting a brake light is not the easiest, excuse me, not the easiest thing to put on. Oh, I think I'm burping up that Taco Bell from earlier I had on my lunch. It's getting to me right now. Just, man, <laughs> this headlight, dude. Oh, it just looks like I'm flashing everybody. <laughs> just looks like a strobe light. So crazy. I don't know how the GoPro is going to show this when I edit the video, but holy moly. <laughs> I definitely need to darken the videos at night, too, that I've noticed. Because when I post them up, I've noticed that they had a lot of uh, noise and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to have to darken the shadows. and when It doesn't look that good at night when I do the footage after leaving work. So we're definitely going to have to... Uh, fix that i've noticed as i was uh coming this way if i didn't show it on the trip yet but we're still hitting 31 miles per hour i don't know what we're gonna do with this hill we're gonna find out right now but i still i have it says almost 18 miles on this bike and i still have not went down one battery bar but realistically that's probably about i would say 14 to 15 miles of range right now because my review showed that it was different i think i mentioned that earlier in the video but just want to go back over it and make sure you guys know that if I tell you at the end of this video, we end up with 25 miles of range, I'm roughly going to say it's going to be like 22. So just keep that in mind. But coming up, that was like, what, 24, 25 miles per hour. Not bad. Not bad at all. Coming downhill, baby, 34, 35. Oh, wait, I don't have my phone up here. I just thought about that. Hold on. I got to put my phone up here because I forgot this GPS is not right. So that means when I was hitting 31 miles an hour, I was hitting probably like 28. Oh, let me pull over here and change that. I was rushing out of work, guys. I was definitely rushing. <laughs> oh, man. I want to say it's probably old age as well. <laughs> I'm just, I forget. I really forget. Like, I didn't text someone back for like five hours a day, and I was waiting for them to text me back. And I'm like, why aren't they texting me? And come to find out, hey, that's a stop sign. Make sure you stop. Double standard. <laughs> but no, I forgot to text someone for five hours. I'm like, hey, why don't you ever text me back? And I looked, I was like, ooh, it's my fault. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting like really bad at that. I think it's just having a lot on my plate and always doing a lot of stuff. 
Uh, there's going to be a point in time where uh, I just kind of take a little break. I've said that many times, funny enough, and I've still been putting content out every other day. But if you guys have noticed, most of my videos, if you want to catch them, I normally post them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I stopped posting them on the weekends because I would skip like Saturday and post Sunday. But then I'd want to skip a day and then post up on Tuesday. Then it'd be Thursday and Saturday. And I just kind of gave up doing that routine. It would be every other day. So the weekend kind of gives me a break. I've been slowing down a little bit. I've obviously been enjoying my car as well that I bought my Tesla. So that's a cool toy to me. And I know a lot of you guys don't like it too much. I've been doing a little bit of content on it, but I'm not trying to oversaturate my channel with it. I'm just trying to, you know, show my life and kind of vlog a little bit, you know, because I know you guys are like interested in like kind of what I do after you've been interested in me reviewing e-bikes and see like what I've been up to on the daily when I'm not doing this. So that's kind of why I've been doing those videos. But for the most part, I'm doing pretty good on bike reviews. Uh, after we're done with this one, we got the Electric XP Expedition. We're gonna do a video on it just as is. I got the running boards put on that the company sent me. I told you they sent me the headlight. They also sent me the bags that you put on the side so we can go to the grocery store and actually fill it up and I can actually do some shopping. So expect those videos to be coming out. I'm hoping within like a week after this video goes out, I'm assuming it probably should be about a week. Um, that's going to be super fun. I definitely want to uh, pick up groceries in that thing and uh, see what I can fit in those bags. So they sent all that stuff to us. And I'm excited for that bike. It's a street bike. But other than that, it, we're not really here for that. I just like to kind of give you guys some updates on the videos. But going back to this bike, I actually like it. I think I mentioned in my review video, the handlebars feel a little disconnected from the front because they're so high from the front tire. The lower that you have your handlebars, the more comfortable it feels on the road, like turning wise and you know handling and all that kind of stuff i don't have turn signals so got to deal deal with it but like it's not that bad like once you get used to it like i'm not having like any problems with it whatsoever that guy looks like he's security out here is it that bad out here they gotta have security just kind of hanging out in this area there's always crazy ass dogs man he better watch out man he gonna get bit overall the people that have seen this bike in person absolutely love it and real quick 30 miles an hour still perfect and no battery bars dropped yet at 20 miles exactly so we're doing pretty good but yeah um i would highly highly recommend this if you're, you don't care about speed and you're not trying to go super fast you don't need like power for like hills and whatnot if you're just on flat road you're not gonna have a problem if you really just want range you cannot go wrong where are you going to find a bike that's under two thousand dollars with a 60 amp hour battery most of these battery packs, I mean, they might be better cells and all that stuff. I get that. But they're going to cost you like $2,000 just to have a company make you a 60 amp hour battery pack. Like I said, they're still probably going to have better cells. There is no information on their website on the cells they're using on this battery. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's probably 18650s because why are they going to put 2700s in here? They're going to try to save some money on this bike. They're really trying to give you the most range for the cheapest buck. And I'll be real, I don't blame them. If they were really trying to pack everything into this bike, it's just gonna get more and more expensive. And honestly, $2,000 is pretty damn good if you ask me. 100 miles of range. And let's say you're not even gonna get 100 miles of range. Let's say, for whatever reason, you're a bigger person, 300 pounds. This bike holds up to 350. Even if you got 70 or 75 miles of range, that's insane. I don't even know where you would need to go that far. Like, yeah, you gotta split your ways in the, or split your trips in the two different ways. So if you wanna go somewhere that's 30 miles away, then well, you have 30 miles to go back. So that's a 60 mile trip right there. So I don't really know where someone's gonna be going if you're getting 100 miles of range out of this thing, if you're not pedaling. That's 50 miles one way, 50 miles back the other way. I said earlier in the video, I'd be more worried about these tires going flat than anything. So. I don't know, just take it with a grain of salt. I would definitely upgrade the tires. That's one of the main things I would do on this thing. You don't need an extra battery. You're not even gonna wanna hold this extra battery in your backpack. Hell no, you do not wanna do it. You could maybe throw on the rear rack that's back here and maybe get some bungee straps or something. It's still gonna be very heavy. It's gonna have a lot of sag on the back suspension. You might have to upgrade the suspension at that point if you put extra weight on it. But if you're super light, like my buddy, uh, Johnny, he weighs like 120. You'll be perfectly fine having an extra battery. But I'm actually curious how much an extra battery for this bike is. I, I don't, I didn't look on their website, I didn't check. Maybe you guys can drop a comment, help some people out and uh, help me out as well, you know, on the channel and 
give me some information for you guys that are maybe thinking about picking up this bike but wow like you can't go wrong and i will have a uh code as well for this i think it should be mr central driver but don't quote me on that definitely check the description so you just have to drop the little tab down and it will say the website which i always use a bit dot i think it's yl so don't think it's like a scammy website or anything like that it's just a shortener url and it will take you directly to the website but next to the description next to the website it will say the coupon code so make sure when you add it to the cart in checkout hit uh, add coupon and then add it and it definitely helps out my channel it's going to help you save some money in the long run and yeah I, that's all i can really say if you do not need power you don't have a lot of hills to go up and you just want the most range out of a bike and this is definitely comfortable the seat is fantastic you're not going to go wrong with this bike at all i swear to god i'm not going to steer you guys in the wrong direction at all i was never really this confident other than when i told you to buy the rev one bike because that is the best all-around bike out there at the moment still like in my opinion for a moped style e-bike this is really considered a moped style e-bike but with an adjustable saddle seat which is awesome i love that um this is just the best range bike i've ever tested and i'm glad that you guys told me i should test it out i should have just bought it a long time ago because i did make a lot of money while selling those rev one bikes which i really appreciate thank you guys so much that really helped me buy my car as well so 100 i appreciate all you guys i do put in some hard work but at the same time some of these videos just riding back and forth these are fun these are fun videos they still take time to edit don't get me wrong but i'm having a blast you know what i'm saying so i always try to keep it real with you guys and oh my god i keep burping up that taco bell that's why i gotta keep cutting right now in the video <laughs> but uh, i'm gonna pull over here real quick i'm gonna show you the range that it says we got and i'll tell you right now we haven't went down a battery bar it's crazy all right ladies and gentlemen so here we are it is kind of dark i apologize but i try not to do stuff in front of my house anymore because there's always people outside or people have their windows open and i'm just making a bunch of ruckus talking at 12 30 in the morning so real quick uh it says we did 22.3 miles i'm gonna go on a limb and say that's probably more like 18 to 19. Uh, i normally do about 12 to 13 miles back and forth to work you saw that we did 5.9 miles i'm just gonna round that up to six miles so let's say we did 12 miles on this trip most of the time i do about eight miles uh riding six to eight miles riding it for my video review so i guess you could say maybe yeah 18 to 20 miles on it we haven't went down a single battery bar and there's no way to check voltage if you hit this icon you can see this switching the trip max speed was 36.8 but we know that's a lie so i think 33 is the max we hit yeah 33.5 is what we hit and don't go off this mileage because i turned my phone on super late so we didn't get the half of the trip coming home but this bike is cool and then our average speed was 27.7 miles per hour yeah there we go baby that's what you do when uh you don't want to pedal i don't like the pedal uh you do have a walking mode i'm gonna see if the walking mode works if you just sit on the bike oh oh well it does and doesn't it's kind of struggling to move so but we're doing two miles an hour so i guess this would be great if you're like kind of uh where there's a lot of people walking or something like that that'd be kind of nice but if you do step off of the bike and make sure no one's behind me and damn that is so bright it's crazy um here we go so holding the walk mode it has a little walking thing it should do like four miles an hour i will say you gotta walk pretty fast you see how fast my feet are moving i'm almost speed walking i'm not lying i'm definitely speed walking <laughs> so uh i wish it did like maybe three miles an hour four is pushing it but great bike guys um it also has gears as well half twist throttle and a horn so i don't know what else you can ask for this bike other than if you really wanted more speed but i understand where they were going with this bike give you the most range possible so i'll see you guys in the next one you guys are the true mvps i love all you guys i ain't going anywhere make sure to stay tuned to the videos monday wednesday and friday all right later guys oh crap i forgot i needed the key to turn the bike off <laughs> all right i'm gonna put these in here so i don't lose them